Today's best music mix. Free Radio. This is the brand new Library of Birmingham. Free Radio was given exclusive access to the multi-million pound building, which is the largest of its kind in Europe. Tell me a little bit about uh, the library and what it actually consists of at the moment. There are ten main levels to the library. One uh, underground, and that's where the children's library, the music library, performance space. So that's going to be really, really vibrant, bustling, quite noisy, I think. And then as you go up through the building, uh, on the first floor we have uh, business and learning services, a second floor which is full of, of reference material and some lending material. We've got two complete floors which actually house our archives. By the time you get to the ninth floor, the very top of the building, uh, we have our Shakespeare Memorial Room. Dates back to 1882. It's been taken from the, uh, the second central library that the city built in 1879 uh, and recreated here to celebrate Shakespeare and celebrate architecture as well. And tell me um, how much it's cost and how big it is. Total cost uh, will be around about £186 million pounds and on a big pub public project it's on time and it's under budget. We're proud of that. It's 31,000 square metres. It's about 20% larger than its predecessor, the Central Library. That gives you room for 800,000 books, uh, about 25 miles of archive storage, and somewhere between 2 and 3 million photographs. More importantly, I think, it gives you room for about 3,000 people at any one time. So tell me the inspiration for this huge building. My main inspiration, to be honest, was Birmingham itself. Maybe because I knew already how to design libraries and how to design theatres, so I was totally focused on Birmingham. So what I wanted to give back to Birmingham, a kind of new interpretation for the future, but taking with me some of the history of Birmingham, and that's expressed, for instance, in the uh, circle of frieze we made around the building. You wanted this to be the People's Palace. Do you think you've achieved that? I thought a new library of the future should be really uh, what I call the people's palace. It should be very inviting and welcoming uh, for everybody from all ages, from all backgrounds. I wanted to have it be very inspiring for children. People talk about the uh, building of the 21st century. I even dare to say it will, will be a building for the 22nd century. What's your favourite part of this? Oh, I just love the Discovery Terrace, which is the third floor garden outside the library. You can just sit there, be at peace with the world, buy yourself a cup of coffee, sit and read your favourite book. It's a lovely place to be. I think the, a unique space, public space added to Birmingham is the amphitheatre, the outdoor amphitheatre, where it was a kind of acoustic space where you can have informal performances. Do you think this library is going to bring people in that wouldn't normally go to the library? Oh, I really, really hope that will be the result. And I, I do encourage anybody who's got any doubts as to whether a library is important to them, come and see what we've got to offer. When you took this on, were you wary of the enormity of the task? Because this building is going to become iconic for Birmingham. Failure was no option. We just continuous. And now I look back, hey, we did this in five year time, on time, in budget, or even under budget. I hope the people of Birmingham will love the building and use it very well. I'm proud. Free radio. Free radio. Today's best music mix. It's nice.